Hi, my name is Aaron Kennan, and I am an accessibility consultant for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I wanted to make this brief video just to discuss the importance of HTML headings with regard to accessibility. I'm totally blind. I've been blind since birth, and I use a screen reader. I've been using one since about 1992. Uh, the screen reader that I use is JAWS for Windows, and uh, it happens to be the most popular screen reader on the market currently. But all good screen readers offer a feature that allows the user, when browsing the web, to see what headings are on the web page and to jump from heading to heading. And why is this important? Well, assuming that headings are used properly on the website, they can give a um, reading the headings can give you a very good overview of what the author wanted to stand out. What was the important points of the website or important sections of the uh, of the website and again this is assuming of course that they're used properly and so it, it makes it much easier to jump uh, around the web page and to find the relevant uh, the um, piece of information that you happen to be looking for uh, at that particular time uh, because you can uh, hopefully uh, make a guess as to what section of the page it would be in and then use the headings to jump to that section and then continue reading from that point. Let me go ahead and give you a uh, demonstration that will uh, hopefully make this a bit clearer. This is a website that I frequent. Enter. 2%. Ars Technica 100%. RSS feeds, page has two frames, 29 headings and 180 links. Ars Technica visited link graphic, Ars Technica. List of two items, bullet link graphic, subscribe, bullet link graphic, contact us, list and list of eight items, bullet visited link home, bullet link business, bullet link contact. So as you can tell, JAWS begins reading from the top of the page, and if I didn't stop it, it would pretty much just read the entire page all the way through, which um, would take quite a while. So. Uh, I almost never do that just because the top of the page usually has a lot of junk that I'm not terribly interested in. So let me go ahead and have, press the, the H key, which will uh, take me to the first heading. Jobs, heading level two, link graphic. Okay, jobs. I've been to this website a few times, so that's not. I know that that's not the section I'm interested in. Interested in. Intel white papers, heading level two, same. Intel white papers. Recent features, heading level two, link graphic. Recent features. Open forum, heading level two. Open forum. Don't miss heading level two. Link. Don't miss. Can Congress tweet? Should bloggers care? Can Congress tweet? Should bloggers care? Serious slash XM merger approved with new. So, um, basically, I am able to press the H key, and jump from headline to headline, on this blog, and it makes it very easy for finding articles that might uh, might be of interest. And uh, if I find an article that I'm interested in, iPhone NDA colon doing more harm than good heading level three link visit x dash Googlers launch cool world's quote biggest search engine quote heading level three link visited. Okay, so let's say for example I want to read this article. I can press enter. Enter thirteen percent x dash Google. So x dash Google. Uh, I'm now page three at this web page, and I can press X the H key to go to the heading, hopefully skipping past all of the navigation links at the top. X dash Googlers log blank. Okay, and I did that. It just read the HUD line. Actually, I, I stopped it, but let me do that again. Visited heading level one link X dash Googlers launch cool world's quote biggest search engine quote. Okay, so it just read the um, first heading, which, uh, and it also jumped me to the uh, to that heading. So I can start reading from this point, and hopefully I'll get the story. I link Jack Lee Cheng vertical bar published colon July 28th, 2008 1 p.m. CT. There's yet another new search engine on the block, but this time it's being valued at Google. Okay, excellent. So, with a few keystrokes, um, and obviously when I'm doing this just for myself and not for a demonstration, it's much faster, but with a very few keystrokes, uh, I was able to jump to this uh, article and start reading, jump to the content and start reading. And uh, if this heading hadn't been here, I would have had to press the uh, page down key or down arrow key uh, several times, and uh, if, you know just listen for the uh, the start of the article, which, especially if I'm unfamiliar with the website, is uh, can be sometimes a bit tricky to know when I've actually reached the content or when I'm still 
just browsing through the navigation links. So headings are pretty invaluable for letting me know uh, where I am as well as helping me to, to jump around the web page uh, in an efficient manner. Let me show you another website that does very, very well uh, with headings. Auto, Google. Makes very good use of headings. Google, enter. Uh, let's see. O -F -F -A -C -E space A -J -A -R. I'll just search for something dumb. Forms mode off. Enter. Office chair dash Google search. Page has one frame. 12 head office. Okay, so my search results are up. I'm going to go ahead and press the H key, and hopefully I can skip past all the um, preamble. Sponsored links heading level 2. Okay, sponsored links. Not terribly interested, although if I was, uh, I now know that I'm at the top of the section of the page that has the sponsored links. Let me uh, press the H key again. Office chairs, ergonomic computer, letter, reception, seating, heading, level. Okay, excellent. First search result. It just read me the title. I'm going to press H again. Office chairs from overstock.com. Oh, office chairs from overstock.com. Okay, excellent. So that's the second search result, and I could keep pressing H to go from search result to search result until I found the one that I wanted. And again, um, I am at the second search result right now. So if I press the down arrow key, I could read the, the little synopsis of that search result. But, um, you know, again, really all it comes down to is the fact that Google used headings in, uh, in the correct way uh, and so liberally allows me to very easily navigate their website. Let me show you another web page. And this is also, interestingly, uh, a web page also owned by Google, but they uh, did a much poorer job on uh, on this site for using headings. Control O. Dub 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 here. Wow. U T U B. It's O M. Enter. YouTube dash green gotcha pins. YouTube three percent. One hundred percent. R S S P. Page has two frames and one. YouTube. Okay. So I'm now at the top of the page. I'm going to hit the H key to jump to the first heading. There are no headings on this page. Excellent. So they didn't even use heading as on this page. Uh, now, I know for a fact that there are several different sections and several different pieces of text on this web page that should stand out because they're the beginnings of, of sections. And um, I'm sure that there are uh, some pieces of text on the screen that um, have a larger font or are perhaps bolded or whatnot, whatever indicators they're using. But um, they're not marked up with headings, and so I don't get that information. Screen readers do not read style for the most part. They only read markup, um, HTML markup and so forth. So uh, basically, uh, style information is virtually ignored. So if you want to uh, bring something to the attention of a user, you know, make it stand out, um, headings are, are definitely one way of, of doing that. So I hope that this has been at least somewhat insightful. I would encourage you to review your own web pages and just to see if you have headings in logical places. Obviously you don't want to overdo it, but um, uh, put headings on things that, that need to stand out and that um, on text that denotes the beginning of sections, uh, any sort of titles or subtitles or, uh, or things of that nature. Oh,